What is going on, everybody? Welcome to tonight's live stream, and we are live. Give me a hashtag live down below if you're watching tonight's live stream. If you are on the replay, fam, if you're on the replay, if you're watching this after New Year's Day, give me a hashtag replay. I am so excited to deliver this live stream tonight. We got scenarios. We got giveaways, okay? And I, don't forget, you're going to want to stay to the end of this video. I'm going to be giving away three bonus prizes. Not a soul, nobody out there knows what I am giving away for these three bonus prizes and also who's going to win. Now, I have the winners, a total of six winners tonight. I also have my three scenarios. Now, the first thing I want to run down here before we even start, I want to just tell everybody where we're at because we got a lot of updates going on, a lot of people here in the live stream. We're up to about 88 people live between YouTube and Facebook. My name is Evan. I go by the paramedic coach. You can see here, here online, Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, YouTube. Have my own program right here. Prepare for prepare for EMS.com. It's my video course. Now I first want to go through what's coming up next. We're going to go through the giveaways. Then we're going to dive right into our scenarios. Now, if this is your first live stream ever we've ever done, maybe you like, you know, it's your first time here on EMS Live, your first time interacting with us. Give me a hashtag first live. Give me a hashtag first live. If you're if you're a veteran, if you've been here for multiple live streams, give me a hashtag vet. Give me a hashtag vet down below in the comments. The more likes, the more hearts, the more thumbs up you give this video, either on YouTube or Facebook, the more EMS students we can impact to see this content. I got three scenarios for you, and I'll explain how that goes in a little bit. Now, the first thing is first. Tonight, we're doing all the giveaways. We're doing scenarios. We're going to go through all that. Now, over the last few weeks, some of you said, Evan, you've been a little more quiet on social media. What have you been up to? I have two big things. I'm going to tell you right here what's going on. Two big things that are absolutely, I believe, going to change the game when it comes to EMS schooling coming up soon. Now, the first one is going to be actually my next YouTube video. Okay. My next YouTube video is going to be on Everything I know, everything I know, everything I've ever seen, dealt with, crammed into one video on how to assess a patient all the way from BLS to ALS. It's going to be my ultimate patient assessment video, medical, trauma. You can name a scenario. It is in this video, and it's coming out in a few days. This is not a you should watch. This is a, if you want to become a great EMS provider, you need to watch this video. It's coming out. It may be tomorrow. It may be the next day. Make sure you're subscribed to this YouTube channel. I'm assuming that you are because that was part of the event. But put your notification bell on so you get that. This video, my friends, is unlike any YouTube video out there on EMS or even videos I put out myself. I believe honestly it's, it's like a movie. And I go through head to toe, step by step on everything I know on patient assessment. Why? Looking back this year, I found that patient assessment was one of the number one topics in groups, you know, my DMs, private messages. So I wanted to deliver like a master class, like like the top level production I could. And I want you to know something. Going into 2021, here it is. The YouTube videos, if you like the YouTube videos now, we're up to about 17,000 subscribers here on YouTube. The videos are getting a huge upgrade. We're already in 4K. We're already doing great stuff here. We have our set and everything, but it's going to get even better. So get ready for the ride in 2021. And Happy New Year's. To all of you out there, uh, I made a post today shouting out all my EMS brother and sisters, and thank you for what you do. If no one's ever told you, 
Happy New Year and thank you for what you do. And thank you for allowing me to be here to help serve you. Thank you. Okay. Again, comment, hashtag live, hashtag replay. Now, what I'm going to do first, I want to go through some of the giveaways and what we are giving away. Then we're going to do our first scenario. Now, here's what we have. So I'm going to let you know later on what the secret surprises are for the three winners. Now, this is third place prize. You might not know these companies. Well, now you're going to know, okay? They're not sponsors. This is me saying this is the best product I've seen in this niche. And look, I just want to deliver. To, I just want to deliver it to my audience. If I ever have someone sponsor this or that, I will let you know. This is not a sponsor. I am simply just a fan. I am simply just a fan. So third place prize gets this pair of X shears. Okay. In my opinion, from what I've used, this is the best trauma shear available today, right here. Okay. It's called the X shear. When you place this shear in your hands, you will understand the difference. So whoever wins third place is getting this. Also, this right here is the best pocket guide, I believe, that is available today for EMS. It's from my MedEquip. The amount of knowledge the, and the way that it's put so simply, you know, I always try to, you know, start from the ground level and take people up step by step. It's the same thing here with this little cheat. I call, I call it a little cheat sheet uh, from my MediQuip. So third place gets this right here. Now, I'm going to talk to you about second place. Second place here is our Littman Classic 3 Scope. Now, this is the breast cancer edition. The scope is pink, okay? So this is a Littman Classic 3 Scope. Very cool, okay? Actually, and first, we have here is our Littman Cardiology 4 Scope Plus. This is very important, and I'm going to test this real quick. A $500 EMS education grant. So I'm giving whoever wins first $500 towards your education. Hope it helps out. If maybe you have loans. Maybe you're trying to go to school. Maybe you're trying to go to med school. Maybe you're trying to do whatever you're doing. I'm going to give it from my company, the paramedic coach, to you. Now, my friends, this is not the first time I've done these grants. And I want to touch on this. I hope that all these giveaways, I hope that all this can try to start a trend in EMS about giving back to our own. Um, you know, I know I have a lot of eyeballs here on social media, but, you know, one question I get asked a lot is, where do I go to get grants for school? You know, you know, other professions have a lot of, a lot of this stuff, but, you know, our profession here in EMS, it's, there's not as many as you may think. Are there some? Sure. Are there volunteer ambulances and stuff like that doing that? Sure. Are there different scholarships? Sure. But are they well known? If they were so well known, then everyone would they'd, they'd be more available. So this is why I try to do, you know, the, the best that I can do with my company here, the paramedic coach, to do these kind of education grants. And that's our goal here, the paramedic coach, to help you every way that we can. Okay. So that's what we have here tonight. Now, again, uh, let's get started with our first scenario. Now, here's how we do our scenarios. Okay, I'm gonna share this with you. You're gonna see a, I'm gonna, come, I'm gonna come close to you, okay? There's a comment box either on Facebook or YouTube. Here, I can see everything, all the comments, okay? I see right now we have about 185 people on the live. This is very, very important, so I hope you can hear me. What I'm gonna have you do is I'm gonna give you a scenario, okay? These scenarios are, are not just EMT or paramedic, they're mixed. So it could be AMT, paramedic, EMT. It's a question that anyone could get at National Rest. That covers a, a good amount of groundwork. An EMT could know and a paramedic. When I place the question, what I'm going to have you do is hold back your comments, okay? And wait until I say go. If it's your first live, you might be, oh, what's going on? I'm going to tell you A, B, C, or D here on the live stream. Okay. So when I say fire your answers, when I say go, I'm going to have you then go to the comments. Hold off your comments until I say go. Now, here's, here's why I do this on these lives. This is why. When we're out in the field, right, we're out in the field, we got to make a decision fast. But we got to make a decision on our own, you see? So I don't want you to copy. It's okay if you get it wrong. This is, this is the training ground, okay? Like I tell my students inside my video course is 
There's no dumb questions. I want you to mess up here in the in, in, in on the live or in the in the course because you can learn from it. And once you have a, a, a teacher or educator tell you something and it clicks, you'll remember it for life. And that's how, like me, for example, I went back, to, I went to medic school 2012, 2013, and everything sticks and we're years later. And we're always learning. You with me? Okay. Give me a hashtag. Let's go in the comments. First scenario, here we go. Okay. Now this patient, this is a pretty good one. I like this one. Here we go. 64, 64 year old female patient, diabetic patient. Okay. Diabetic. Now this patient is difficulty breathing, chest pain patient. Okay. It's been two nights. So for two nights, it got worse, got worse tonight, which is obviously why they call it EMS. Two nights, I'm a diabetic, difficulty breathing, chest pain, okay, with a cough, a productive cough, okay? Now, I'm going to give you the vital signs. I'm going to give you the vital signs here, okay? So here's what we have. Now, this will be a little small, but you can hear me, so I'm going to tell you as well. I'll also put the vitals in the comments because it is a little small. So the heart rate is 110. The blood sugar is 342. The respirations is 24. Okay, let's see what else we got here for you. SpO2, 91%. The blood pressure is 142 over 88. Okay. Now, based upon the information, and there's always, always, again, there's never a perfect question, you see. So when you're an EMT, advanced EMT, paramedic school, there's never going to be, oh, this is a perfect scenario. Like, for example, okay, you have a patient with, you know, left-sided, you know, arm pain into his jaw. He's got chest pain, and he's got a history of high blood pressure and high cholesterol and diabetes. Is he having a heart attack? Like, yeah, I mean, yeah, he is. Yes, he is. You know, yeah, that, that duh, right? That, but that is not going to be shown to you, right? That was a man, obviously, with every cardiac risk factor having clear-cut chest pain. In the, in the question asked you, is it a heart attack, yes or no? Okay, that, that's not how it is. So all these tests, including what I teach here, how to prep for national registry, again, prepare for, prepare for EMS.com is you're never going to have the perfect question. So you got to know how to get the best answer, which is the correct answer for the question. Okay. When you get on the road, like I talk about in my course about on the job tips, that's when we can get our hands dirty and we can learn more from there. Okay. So ABCD, hold your fire, hold your fire. And so I say go. Okay. And I'm going to explain the people that are watching this live, if you're on the same wavelength as me, meaning you might see this right now and go, you know what? I didn't get all the info, but seeing what I see, I think I know what this is. That's what I'm looking for. And these questions are not gotcha questions. These questions are to make you smarter. Okay. So there's a reason why I actually like put out these questions. And I'm going to always explain the reason at the end. Okay, I'm walking you through. Now, is it A, CHF? Is it B, asthma? Is it C, pneumonia? D, pulmonary embolism, a PE? 64-year-old diabetic, diff breather, chest pain, two nights, wood productive cough, 110 heart rate, BGL 342, respirations 24, SpO2 on room air, 91%. Ready, set. And fire those answers. Go, go, go. Fire those answers, everybody. Let me see those letters here on the live. I'm going to new comments. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Okay, I got C, 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 A. I got some Bs. I got some Ds. Okay, I like this. Here we go. We got 193 people on the live between Facebook and YouTube. Let's go. My friend, this is our biggest live event yet, so welcome. I see, I see a lot of everything here. 
the, I see everything here. I see A, B, C, D. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it, everybody. Good stuff. Good stuff. This is what I like to see. This is what I like to see. Great job, everybody. Now, I'm going to give you another few seconds here to get in, okay? So let's just see what we got. Everybody, come on in. Here's a question. 64-year-old diabetic. You show up, laying in bed. Hey, two nights I've had difficulty breathing, chest pain. You know, I'm a diabetic. Here are my vitals. 110, 142.88, SPO 291, respiration is 24, BGL 342. I have a productive cough and I'm coughing up something. We don't know what though. What is this? Based on the information I gave you, what do you think would be the best guess, the best answer? And see, again, you know, when you're doing a state exam, when you're doing a final exam, when you're doing national registry, okay, there's always going to be questions that maybe they'll go, you, you could go either way, but there's always a better answer. And this, I mean, these questions here are not from a bank, my friends. This is based on my own knowledge and, you know, what I've seen out in the field, but putting that into a question format that makes you think, okay? Now... Looking at this patient, I see a lot of different things here. A lot of different things here. People are still answering, but I'm going to go. We're up to 200 people on the live, 206. We have set a new record, everybody. 200 people on the live between YouTube and Facebook. Let's go, everybody. So great to have you here. Hope you're enjoying this live cast. Now, when I look at this patient, okay, what do I see here? What were they trying to get at? Think about it. What's the thing that's glaring out here? Because we don't have all the information. We don't have lung sounds. That would be nice to have. If I had lung sounds, I would know what this is in two seconds, right? But I didn't get lung sounds. But you know what I got? A diabetic with an elevated blood sugar of 342. Okay, hang on. A productive cough. All right. It's not acute. It's gradual. So two nights. Okay. Wait. The heart rate. This patient's tachycardic. Okay. The blood pressure's a little high, but is it CHF high? No. Okay. No. Okay. Asthma. Hmm. Well, two nights, asthma doesn't really make sense. Asthma is more acute. So, okay. Pulmonary embolism, more acute. The pearl here, okay, and remember, there is no right or wrong here. The lesson in this question was very simple. When you, and you'll remember this now for the rest of your career. These three questions are designed for you to remember things that will stick in your brain for the rest of your career. When you go to a diabetic patient, a diabetic is having an infection in their body. What's going to happen is their blood sugar goes up and it spikes. Okay? So if you look at your patient, you go, hmm, they might have an infection. Well... This patient is looking like they're having an, uh, pneumonia, elevated heart rate, elevated BGM, low SBO2. Yeah, the blood pressure is a little high, but not CHF high. These asthma and pulmonary embolism or is more acute, is more of an acute issue when we talk about that, right? So now CHF, I think CHF here, again, well, it wasn't a bad answer, but the thing is, you got to look at the question and go, okay, what, what is this person trying to get at? Now, here's where CHF would have been the answer. One move, one move. I can make one move here and change the whole answer. And here's what CHF would have been. This makes sense. This makes sense. This makes sense. The difference is the blood, the blood pressure is a little high. But every time without exception, you see a real deal 
And this is always in the questions. You see a real deal CHF patient, their blood pressure, when it's starting to come to that point, it's going to be very high. We're talking 180 stock, 190, 200, 170, high, 142, you know, diabetic, older person. Okay. But now what I want you to take away, you have learned something new. That's the key here. Okay. Good job. Now we're going to move on to the next question. Okay. So here we go. Hope you guys are having a good time tonight. I'm going to erase this here. I'm going to move on. Now, before we move on, though, you know I'm full of surprises. We're going to actually do an announcement right now. How about that? You ready? Okay. I'm going to announce right now our third place winner. But I need you to help me right now. If you're on Facebook, I need you to like this live. If you're on YouTube right now, I need you to like this live. If you're just relaxing right now and you're not you know, driving a car and got me plugged into your car, I want you to tell a classmate. I want you to tell a friend, a promise between me and you about me. Tell them, hey, go to this guy's YouTube channel. Go to this guy's website. Look up the paramedic coach. You don't got to show me. I, I just want you to do it for me. Do that for me right now. I'm going to announce third place winner. <laughs> Who's ready for the third place winner? Okay. Third place winner. Winner of this X shear. Again, I believe the best shear on the market here. Okay. The X shear. Again, this is not a sponsor. I am a fan. If anyone sponsors me, I will let you know. I am a fan. X shear. Again, not a sponsor. I'm just a fan. My Midi Quip, the best pocket guide on the market today, right here. Okay. Our third place winner is John Saxman. John Saxman is our third place winner. Everybody, give me some claps. Give me some hashtag. Let's go. John Saxman. Okay, now, John, what I'm going to have you, what I'm going to have you do, John? is I'm going to have you reach out to me, right? Uh, screenshot your comments over on YouTube. That, I can, I can, that way I can match you up, okay? And we will go from there. I'll make sure you are all set, taken care of. If you're live right now, John, let us know you're live right now. Um, I'm going to put my, my email um, right on here as well. I'll, I'll put it in the live cast now, okay, just so you know. Um, but I will be reaching out to you personally through YouTube after the live, just in case. Okay. So John Saxman, reach out to me. Um, could be Facebook. I'm going to, I'm going to pull all the winners out. So if you do win tonight, don't stress. Okay. I have everybody here I have all their info and everything. John Saxman, you are our third place winner. I'm going to be shipping this out to you. Today is the first, either the second or the third. So if you win tonight, if you win anything here, I'll be probably shipping out within 48 hours. Okay. So John Saxman, you've won these trauma shears. You've won my midi quick. And I'm going to throw in a little message for you inside there as well. Okay. So pretty cool. Everyone saw the white ceiling. Hey, it's all good. <laughs> all right. All right, my friends. So we are now going to move on to our next scenario. Here we go. If you're just tuning in, second place prize is right here coming up after our next scenario. Living Cardiology Force coming up at the end of the night. And then also, you got to stay tuned to the end of this live because I'm. And it's not just that. I have three bonus winners. Haven't announced what I'm giving away yet or who it actually is. So stay tuned. Again, tell your classmates about what we're doing here. There is not one other person on the internet right now that is putting out the amount of content or the quality of content that I am here at the Paramedic Coach. And I'm not saying that to be rude. I'm saying this because I care about you. I care about your classmates. My whole motto is to increase the, the amount of people that actually get through school and get through registry. And that's what I do right here at prepareforems.com, my video course. You get access to over 180 videos of content, all the way from pre-EMT, all the way to your, literally your, basically your first year of being a paramedic. You know, when I first became a paramedic, there were certain things that helped me out on the road. 
they're in the course. And, you know, going to seeing students that are getting ready for school. That's why we say if you're one of, you know, these three people, if you are somebody watching this right now and you're one of the 210 people between YouTube and Facebook that are on this live right now, this is what you need right here to get you ahead when school or national injury. Here's why. If you are preparing for school, whether it's EMT, advanced EMT, or paramedic, you're about to be thrown in with a fire hose of information. It's a very, very accelerated education you're about to get. This is why a lot of people, when they go into it, don't make it. It's no one's fault. It's just the way that the education is designed. because There's so much to know in a short amount of time. But no one talks about this. So this course, the first person who should grab this course is somebody who is getting ready for school coming up in January. Maybe they have school coming up in a few months. I would get access to this and start going through the sections based on your provider level. Second person is someone who's maybe in school right now and you know who you are. Maybe you're just you're looking for another resource to help you get through your exams. I've had people, you know, that Grab my course to help out and study for their finals. I go through all the sections here inside the program that you need to know. Now, the final person is somebody who's either getting ready as a paramedic for precepting or everybody, EMT, advanced EMT, paramedic for national ranch. That's what I'm known for. I am known for getting the most results. And it's all documented. You can see right literally on my Instagram Facebook, all the results. Go to my Instagram. I have literally buckets load of testimonials from people who've taken this course. They got lifetime access. Course sells for $49, which is probably less than dinner for two in most uh, places in the United States. And the reason I don't charge per month for this is because I don't, I, it's, not, it's not what I uh, believe that it should be. I want to create a product with lifetime access that you could watch to wherever you want to watch and it will take you through your career and when you're actually on the job you can look back to it too this program includes the following and then i'm going to move into our next scenario here it is prep for every single level of school emt advanced emt paramedic it also includes on the job tips when you're actually working up patients like practical tip like you know training mentoring tips EMT, advanced EMT, paramedic. It includes national registry prep. There's how many? There's five sections to national registry. People mess up studying for national registry when you study practice questions. Practice questions, all that does is someone's random word bank, some random question bank that they've created and designed, and they give to you. Those questions are not going to be the same questions that are on National Registry. The way you pass National Registry is actually understanding the content that's going to be on the exam. And it's not a secret. National Registry tells you that there's five sections you got to know, and they are cardiology and recess, airway and ventilation, EMS ops. You have medical OBGYN, and you have trauma as well. And they're broken up 80% adult, 20% pediatric. And there's little differences on the EMT, advanced EMT, and paramedic. I cover all that. So the reason why my programs, and you see all the comments here, and you see all the people saying they've gotten results with this video course, is because it not only helps you in exams, it helps you get through the exams, that makes you a strong, confident provider when you're actually working on the field. And that is what I do here online. And this is the, the empire, the EMS empire that we're building here. And this is just the beginning, my friends. 2020, amazing, amazing results. 2021, if you didn't know from the beginning of the live, the next video I release on YouTube is going to be monumental. You know, I'm not, I'm not being, I, not being crazy here. I think it's like a movie. I think you're really going to, I'm really proud of it. I worked on it for several weeks. I hope you really enjoy it. Okay. So. Who's waiting for the next scenario? Here we go. Here's the order if you're if you're curious. We're doing a scenario. I'm going to announce the second place winner. We're going to dive into another scenario. And then the magic happens 
We got the first. We got other people. Here we go. Okay. By the way, John Saxman. John Saxman. You got to hit me up, John. John, message Facebook. It could be Facebook Messenger. I'm going to you know reach out to you, but I have your have your comment stored, so you're good. John Saxman. Okay, John Saxman. Okay. Now let's go to the next scenario here. Okay. Now we're just tuning in. We're doing scenarios right now. What I want you to do is I, I want you to chime in to the scenario when I say go. So if you know the answer, it's okay. You know the answer. Um, but wait till I say go. Because people need to make decisions for themselves. Okay, now here we go. We have here a 78-year-old male patient. This patient is complaining of abdominal pain. It is on the right lower quadrant going into the flank on the right side. Okay. Now, let me get you some other information here. The pain was about 4 out of 10. Okay, 4 out of 10, 24 hours ago. This patient said, ah, must have been something I ate, you know, who knows, didn't call the ambulance. Now, the pain is 9 out of 10. Okay, describes the pain as kind of like a sharp cramp, a sharp cramp. Okay, he's also having near syncope. So, you got a patient right here who has right lower quadrant abdominal pain going into the flank 4 out of 10 24 hours ago. 9 out of 10 right now, ah, it's sharp. It's, it's crampy. That's what we have so far. Now, let me give you some more information here, okay? Now, this pain that this person is having woke them up out of their sleep. Woke them up. Woke them up. Okay, so woke them up out of their sleep. Okay, so that's all the information I got for you here. I'm going to give you some vitals. So that's all the info. I'm going to put the vitals in the corner. So let me get everything out first. Okay, so first thing we have here is going to be the vitals. Look at that. Vital signs. Okay, so vitals of this patient, we have a blood pressure. We have 150 over 80. We have the heart rate. Heart rate is going to be 116. Sinus tack on the monitor, okay? The pain scale we already have. Respirations comes back at 22. SpO2 is 99% in room air, okay? So those are our vital signs. Now, what do you think is going on with this patient? And then I'm going to give you a pearl to remember what is going on, okay? Now, here's the information. I want you to grab it before I write it out, okay? So I'm going to move these over, okay? Give me two seconds. Got too big with those letters, huh? So we're going to do A, B, C. Oh, it's great. D. Boom. Okay. So is it hepatitis? Yeah, hang, hang. Hepatitis. Is it B, diverticulitis? Is it diverticulitis? Okay. Is it C? It's going to be kidney stone. Is it a kidney stone? Could be. Could be a kidney stone. Is this patient having a heart attack? An MI. MI, which the lay person would call that man's having a heart attack. Okay. Having some fun. Okay, you ready? Three, two, one, and go, go, go. Fire those answers, guys. Go, go, fire those answers in the comments down below. Let's go fire those answers. Smash that like button if you're watching on Facebook and hit that like button if you're on YouTube. We got 225 people on the live from Facebook family to the YouTube family. We are starting this new year off right. 2021, giving you all I got in this live. Let's go, everybody. What do you got? Hepatitis, diverticulitis, kidney stone, and my heart attack. We have, if you're just tuning in, 78-year-old male. Abdominal pain on the right lower quadrant, up the flap. I got it going like this. It was, oh, it was only 4 out of 10 24 hours ago. But oh, we'll be better in my sleep. Now it's 9 out of 10, you know. Uh, I feel like I'm going to pass out. 150, 80, 116, respiration 22, SPO2, 99%. What do you think this is? Okay, here we go. Here we go, here we go. 
Okay, so here's what I got here. I see C's and D's, 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 C's and B. I got a B. I got a B. I got B's. I got B's as well. I got B, C, C. Okay. Yes, everybody. Now, remember, I'm going to say it again for all my people watching this live. These scenarios is not right or wrong. These scenarios are to make you think. So when you're out in the field, you can think critically, you see? So these questions are not to make you, oh, God, got the answer wrong in the paramedic coach live. Oh, man, you got it. No, I did not. Ah, you know what? I'm so sad. No, don't do that. No, no, don't do that. What I want you to do is learn from this because I'm with you right now. Maybe you're sitting at the dinner table. Maybe you're in the living room. I'm here right now, and we're training together on New Year's Day. The 220 of you are on this live between YouTube and Facebook right now. Come on. Every single one of you is going to be great. You're here on New Year's Day getting smarter, and your communities should be thanking you for that. So great job to all of you. Okay. Now, here's what we have. I'm going to give you a pearl here. Like I did in the first one, all the pearls I got. Here it is. Now, I didn't see anyone do A, but maybe I didn't see it. It's not A. I'll tell you that, okay? It's not A. Now, why is it? But why? But why? Why is it not A, Evan? Well, if I have patience, and we're going to talk about this in my next YouTube video on patient assessment. It's coming out in the next 48 hours. So be sure to stay tuned. This is going to be a master class of an event on patient assessment, medical trauma. It's coming out in two days, okay? In two days, 48 hours. So stay tuned for that. I'm gonna release the official date for it after this live stream tonight, okay? So stay tuned for it. Now, hepatitis. Well, hepatitis is more upper. Where's my liver? Where's my liver? It's not over here. It's not in the right lower quadrant. It's up here. It goes, it's actually pretty large. It goes like this. Right across here. This is my right hand. So the right side, it rolls over. So it's not, this is not hepatitis. Now, hepatitis would be more like this. Nausea, vomiting, right? Maybe even some chills I've seen with my own eyes. I'm going to ignore, you know, midline, right upper quadrant. Could be jaundice, right? Could have the, the yellowing of the eyes or the skin. Now, and, and nausea, vomiting is always there as well. I, I didn't mention nausea, vomiting here. So hepatitis is not, not correct. Now, is, it, is, this, is this an MI? Is this a heart attack? Now, there's one thing that some of you may have said, you know, that's a heart attack. It woke him up out of his sleep. You, you know what? Fair play to you if you did that. I'm happy if you did that, but you're not correct. But let me tell you why I'm happy you did that. If a patient has pain, I'm going to move, I'm going to go over here, okay? Patient has pain from their neck to their hip. Do it with me right now if you're watching live. Take two fingers in your neck and two fingers on your hip. This is, a, this is two tips in one I'm about to deliver to you right now. Check me out here. If you're a hands-on learner and you're good out in the field, but you're showing with exams, you got to act things out with your hands because it will connect to your brain, you see? So I always have my students, like in my course here, like video course here, what I'm doing is we, we can act things out. I can show you, look, go like this. So if you have pain from your neck to your hip, you can feel your hip bone, okay? Think, consider, it could be a heart attack. Think, consider, it could be an MI. So I'm not mad at the people that do that. I'm happy to do that because you're thinking good. You're saying, you know what? This is a, this could be a sneaky case. I'm going to do an EKG. Now, you would have saw science tack and no study, but you didn't get tunnel vision. This man's also near syncope. You didn't get tunnel vision. You didn't just think about here. You thought about here. Good man, good woman great job but you're not right though in this case that's okay because this is about just making you critically think smarter 
to better take care of your patient. So good job. But it's not correct. Okay. Now, the other thing about the heart attack as well that I actually I just peered here. I, I you want to mention that a heart attack would not have an SpO two of ninety nine percent on room air. Just wouldn't. But I, I but I like that you were probably thinking. You know what? This man is an EKG. So good, fair play to you guys. Now, is it diverticulitis or is it kidney stones? Now, here's the thing. There's something, there's a few things in this question that make me go one way or the other. Okay. And again, we're not doing this to be cool. We're not doing this to be superheroes. We're doing this because I want you to think critically to learn more. Okay. Because this is the person you're going to see out in the field. And they're going to ask you, what do you think's going on? What's wrong with me? When you have your 25 minute transport time, what do you think is going on? I don't know. I'm nervous. Help me. What are you going to say to them? Oh, I don't know what's going on. No, you're going to say, well, here's what I'm thinking. You know, so far we've gotten your vitals. We've gotten an EKG and hey, your EKG looks good. Your heart rate's a little high, but I can see you're in pain right now. You know, I'm thinking about these two things, right? what you're thinking about. B and C, by the way, are both good answers. They're both good answers. Okay, we don't know everything. But if I was talking to this patient, what I would think would be going on is, in this case, due to the woke them up out of their sleep, due to the flank being involved. And when I hear flank pain, I just automatically think of a kidney stone automatically. Seeing the pain is 9 out of 10. Seeing the pain's real. I'm going to explain. Hang on. Hang with me. Seeing the pain's real with the heart rate and the blood pressure. I'm going to go with C on this one or kidney stone. But it very well could end up being in hospital diverticulitis. Now, the whole goal of this question was not to say, oh, I got it right. Nope. It was to give you a tip. I'm, I know. I'm, I'm sneaky, right? So here it is. If you have patients with, that's just what I teach my students, okay? We have our four quadrants, right? It's just, it's so much easier to go over, especially for people that are just starting off. Four quadrants, okay? Our liver and gallbladder, if I can talk, right? Okay. Our liver and gallbladder are in the, uh, the right upper quadrant, right? I always talk about over here, we have our stomach, our spleen, our two S's, okay? Pancreas slides in there as well, okay? We have our, on the bottom here, we have our, oh, I'm sorry, I'm looking at myself on the screen, I'm sorry, guys. Um, our, our, right, uh, our, right lower, our right lower quadrant, we have our, our diverticulitis land, and on the left, we're going to have our, our appendix, okay? So look, I'm going to draw it out for you, okay? We're going to go through it. Give me two seconds. I draw it out. So here we are. This is the whole key here. We have our right, we have our left. Okay, so the way I teach here is we have our S, S, P, which is going to be our stomach, we have our spleen, pancreas kind of slips in, but it's kind of on both. Okay, the right, we have our liver, we have our gallbladder, and this will all make sense and why I brought this up in two seconds. So hang with me, okay? Now look, down here on the right as well is going to be what I call appendicitis land. Okay, over here, okay? On the left, okay, this right here on the left side is where we actually have the intestine kind of swoop in and it's called the sigmoid colon. And I'm gonna explain how it all works. Hang with me, okay? Okay, so right here, we go off like this. This is basically here like our rectum as things are leaving, okay? So left side, left, lower quadrant, that's going to be the most common place for you to feel diverticulitis, okay? It's going to be on the left lower quadrant, okay? That's going to be the most common place. Is it the only place? I've seen weird things. I've also had family members that have it as well, but the most common place is actually going to be the left lower quadrant. So that's why when I look at this patient, the flank pain is why I'm going with kidney stones is the answer. But I, but again, I, I like those of you that may have tried for B, try for C, try for D. But if that was my patient, I'd say, look, if they had a history of diverticulitis, 
which is very commonly the case. You're going to see a lot of older patients that have GI issues. I'd say, look, does this feel like the last time you had this event? And they may say yes. They may say no. Okay, great. To me, the way that case was is more kidney stones. Okay. Now, again, these cases, my friends, it's from my own experience. These cases are things that I've seen out in the field, not some random word bank stuff. I want you to be able to think. Okay. And that's what we're doing here. Okay. Good. Okay. So now we're going to move on and we're going to announce our second place winner here. Okay. Here we go. There we go. Okay, who is ready right now? We're gonna announce our second place winner on this live right now. Give me a hashtag, let's go down below if you are ready for this. Our second place winner, give me a hashtag, let's go. If you're alive, give me a hashtag live. If you like what I'm doing here, if you support this channel, smash the like, tell your classmates about what we're doing here. I think this is like the fifth, or six giveaway that I've done, I think. We've done at least four or five this year. Um, I know that. So there's more to come. Now, second place winner is, here we go. You ready? You ready? Here we go. It is this right here, okay? Lipman Classic 3 Breast Cancer Edition. There's the lighting. Thank you very much. Here it is. The winner is, hopefully I pronounce this right, Natasha Sinega. Natasha Sinega, you are the winner. You are second place winner of this Litman Classic 3. Everybody in the comments, give me a hashtag. Let's go. Natasha Sinega, you are the winner of this scope right here. I'm going to be shipping this scope out to you personally in the next 48 hours. Okay. Now, I have your info, but reach out to me if you're watching now. Plant your spot there, okay? It always helps me out, okay? PM me on Facebook, DM me on Instagram, email me, it's on my Facebook, okay? I got your back, I got your info, but either way, hit me here, okay? And show me your comment, okay? Good job. Okay, now, I got one more scenario. Before we do that, I'm gonna announce right now what is a special bonus prizes that I have going on, and I've never done this before, ever. So I'm going to share with you tonight what it is and what we have going on. Now, as you all know, when I do these live streams, yeah, we have some sort of, we have a, a flow to it, but a lot of this stuff I base off of the feedback that I get. Could be private messages, could be DMs. Like, for example, tonight with all these uh, scenarios, I don't base off things that I want to do. I base them off the questions that I get from you guys. So I've had a lot of questions about GI issues. I've had a lot of questions about the next one we're going to talk about. Stay tuned for that. And the first one we talked about, which is that, you know, respiratory, cardiology stuff. So I don't base things off of what I like. I base them off what you want. So that's why we do here. Now, if you're coming on now and you have no idea what's going on, John Saxman was third place. Natasha Sinega was second place. Okay. I'm going to mark them off here. Okay. Now, what we have coming up next is going to be our three bonus winners. And I want to tell you what is going on and what they are. Okay. Here it is. Now, what I wanted to do, I've never done this before, is I wanted to give Three lucky students, three lucky people who got involved in the giveaway, okay, now we're on here for the giveaway. I want to give them a special New Year's bundle. What's a new? What's that? What I'm going to give you is every single study guide, okay? This is my video course. This is a different product. I have study guides that I put out, for example, okay? That some I put out for a limited time only. Some I put out, they're free guides, right? Some I put out that are always available, okay? Now, what I'm going to do for these three students right here, I'm going to announce, okay? I'm going to announce the first two, 
right now. We're going to do a scenario. And then we're going to dive in and announce the, the final uh, final winners of the night. And then stay tuned. we got another announcement as well after that. Okay, you're not going to want to miss. If you're getting ready for school, you're in school. Like my friends, we're going to change the game here. We're going to change the game here. Um, coming in a few weeks, get a little prelude. Coming in a few weeks, I'm going to be releasing something that I, I believe will make the biggest impact on people passing school and passing national registry that the world's ever seen. Okay. And like I said, you could be watching this live right now and saying, ah, oh, you know, who's this guy? I don't know who he is. My friends, I don't got to say anything. I have my students back it up. And my program right here that I give for school prep, for help with school, with National Registry, has documented the most results of any other program. You can go look at my social media. You can see literally hundreds of results from students. I have thousands. <laughs> I can't post them all, but you can go see the results there. It's on my Instagram. You can see them rolling on the comments. This is where we are here. Now, what I'm going to be giving away is a bundle of study guides called my New Year's Bundle. Okay? So I'm going to put them all together for you. It's going to almost be like a little mystery gift. So you're going to have study guides to go through on a variety of different topics. Okay? Now, our, our, we'll call it our fourth and our fifth uh, place winner, okay, even though you're all the same, Okay, we have, you ready for it? Here it is. The first winner of the Study Guide New Year's Bundle is Cindy Miller. Cindy Miller, congratulations. You're getting a New Year's Study Guide Bundle. The second, second winner of our New Year's Study Guide Bundle is Kyler Pittman. Kyler Pittman, you are also a winner of a New Year's Eve study guide bundle. Now, I'm going to put in essentially every study guide ever created, okay, which are stuff like, you know, PDFs, go over, you know, med math, for example, cardiology, OBGYN, stuff like that I've released. I've done GCS secrets. I have so many. I've had a had prepare for medic school. All everything I've ever released, a lot of the stuff isn't even available. Um, I'm going to give to you for absolutely free. You've won it. Okay. Like all the stuff here. Right. So Cindy Miller, Kyler Pittman. I got one more person I'm going to announce of the New Year's bundle and the first place winner. But here's our final scenario. You going to hang with me? You with me? Don't be against me. <laughs> all right. All right. Here we go. All right, guys. Let's go. Give me a hashtag live. You're on the live. Give me a hashtag replay if you're on the replay and get ready for the ride because 2021 is going to be absolutely epic here at the Paramedic Coach. I have a stack of notes over there. I wish I could show you. I can't really move the computer. I have a stack of notes there of my 2020, 2021 game plan to help you. Get ready for it. I'll leave it at that. Okay, now here we go. A, B, C, D. Here we go. A, B, C, D, what is going to be the next winner, right? We're having fun. Okay. So we got a six-year-old male patient. Six-year-old male patient. This patient is having a hard time breathing, and you're called to the residence at 3 a.m. in the morning. So it's 3 a.m. in the morning, and you're called for a six-year-old male who can't breathe. Charge the breath. Okay? Charge the breath. Now, this patient has got a few things going on. 3 a.m., I see Strider. Remember, do not answer the question until I give you the answers. No copycats in my life. You know why? Because when you're out there going to this six-year-old male whose mother's saying, hey, I need help, I need help, I don't know what's going on, the people in the comment section are not going to be here to help you. I know it sounds crazy. But it's true. So this is, this is why I want you to hold because you're going to learn here. I want you to, I almost, you know what's funny? I almost want you to be wrong. So that way I can help you and you can learn. You see? Okay, good. Now, she tells you, the, the mother, 24 hours ago, everything was fine. 
like you ask like like how like how has the child been? Fine, everything's been fine. Put her to you know, put him to bed, everything's fine. Okay. So everything's been fine until 3 a.m. wakes up out of sleep in a strider. And it's showing us a breath. And and drool. And drooling. Can't swallow. Hmm. Okay. What do you think this is? I'm gonna tell you. Hang on. So is this a is this croup? Could be. Asthma? Could be. Could be asthma. Could be asthma. Is this anaphylaxis? Could be, right? Is this epiglottitis? Could be, right? What do you think? You ready? Three, two, one, and fire those answers. Go, go ahead and fire those answers in the comments right now. What do you got for me? A, B, C, D. What do you have? A, B, C, D. You've been called. It's 3 a.m. You're sitting in the bunk room. A mother's calling you for a six-year-old male patient. Can't breathe, strider, drooling, can't swallow, looking up at you. And what are you gonna do? What do you think? What do you what do you think's my mom goes, what do you think's going on? I don't know. Child's been fine. What are you gonna say? What are you gonna think? Are you gonna go like some sirens? What are you gonna do? It's your patient, not my patient. I'll be here helping you, right? What is it? A, B, C, D, let's go, okay? I'm gonna check out the answers here, okay? Um, right now, what I'm, I'm, doing, I'm gonna do for you all here, so I'm, gonna, I'm scanning the comments, I'm scanning the comments. I'm scanning the comments. Now, Philip here says, you're on Facebook, you're a legend. Without your course, I went ahead and remembered this. Ha, <laughs> Philip, let's go. That's, that's what I like to see, my friend, there it is. I'm gonna do a quick scan of the comments. Uh, there are so many comments, I can't even scan back more than that. Uh, that's uh, that's incredible. We are breaking records uh, on tonight's live. Um, let's see here. We are breaking records on this live stream here. Okay, here we go. Now, those of you, and I saw a comment here, and say, I need more information. I'm with you on that. But remember, this is not a gotcha. This is not a, this is, I want you to think critically. The biggest problem, and this is, do you know why I do these? The biggest problem I find with new EMS providers, okay? Remember, problem has a solution. So I'm giving you a solution right now. Here it is. You got to understand, you got to think critically. You don't want to be a, you're not a chef. There's not a recipe to medicine. You know, there's, it, we call it practicing medicine or practicing emergency medical, right? Or that's what we're practicing. We're practicing emergency medicine. So we don't follow a cookbook. We don't want to be, as, as they say, a cook, we don't want to be a cookbook medic, right? We want to be a critical thinking medic. But not just a medic. Everyone always talk about medics, EMTs. Uh, my friends, uh, just because your state or national registry says you're an EMT doesn't mean you can't think like the best medic that you work with. Maybe you're not licensed to use the equipment yet, but why can't you have the same knowledge? It's right here. Prepare for EMS.com. Up your skills. I have a lot of EMTs, for example, that check this course right here. And they say, you know what? I watch all the EMTs. I got through my national registry. 
I want to learn more. What do I do? Well, I'm giving you lifetime access to the video vault. Unlike other apps, other things out there that you use once, you never use. My students go back again and again and again. Like you, mentioned, like you saw uh, Philip on Facebook earlier. Go back again and again and again. And Philip, I can, by the way, shout out to Philip. I, I can see in the course, like, who's watched what. Philip has watched 100% of the videos. That, that is the equivalent in my, if you watch every single video inside of here, the 180 videos, you know, screw the goal. I'm just going to tell you straight up. If you watch every video inside of here, that's the equivalent of you riding, like, literally, like, me being your partner for, like, six months to a year. And we're, like, full-time partners together. You know why? When I first started this course, it came from me training people in the ambulance to become cleared. Because when I started all this, I said, wait a second. If I take what I'm doing here, maybe I can move it online. I can help more people. Because right now I'm only helping a few people. Don't more people need help? Okay? This is the paramedic coach. Now, let's go back to our question here. Okay? If you want to learn more about the video study course, I'll put the link right now in the comments. The link is above. It's probably in the description. The link is everywhere, basically. But in just in case you want to check it out, my video study course, I also call it my life's work, okay, is down below, is everything. When I was training those people in the ambulance that were new EMTs, new or new students, when we're going into training, so what, what, this is my first kind of manifesto, if you will. It's all in there, plus all the National Ranchery stuff, okay? So this is what I recommend. You're going to be very sharp. If you do this, Philip made a comment like Philip. Very sharp. Okay, good. Now, what we got going on here? Well, it's not asthma, I'll tell you that. It's not asthma because asthma doesn't have strider. It ain't asthma. Okay. Um, strider drooling, and I can't swallow. Is it anaphylaxis? You know what's funny? It could be. It could be. I'm going to give you a bonus tip here. Hang with me. I just thought about boasted right now on the live. Pretty cool, right? Hang with me. I'm, I'm going to give it to you. I'm going to give it to you. Okay. Now, why is this? Why is this not croup? Right here. It's the drooling. It's the I can't swallow issue. The answer is epiglottitis. Okay. Now, if somebody said in a phylaxis, Excuse me. This goes back to what I was talking about in the last question I, I talked to you guys about, right? When we talked about the, the GI patient, right? Remember that? Okay. When I see this patient here, the first thing I think about is you can hear Strider across the room. I don't got to listen to your sound to hear Strider. So here's what I'm doing. I'm going to tell you exactly what I would do in this scenario and how I got to where I got to. Okay. Now, hear me out. Okay. You go to a patient. And this is a bonus tip too. So hang with me. Okay. And by the way, don't forget, if you haven't watched yet, we are giving this away in probably like a few minutes. And we're giving away $500. And we're giving away the final winner of the uh, bundle. Stay tuned. Hang with me. My friends, we're up to 229 people on this live right now on YouTube and Facebook. That is absolutely mad. That's got to be a record. That's got to be EMS record. Somebody call the books. It's got to be a record. <laughs> okay. And by the way, guys, much love to all of you because, you know, it's – and I, I thank you. I see all the kind words and comments coming in. Thank you. Thank you, everybody. Um, but, um, you know, I'm nothing without you. You see? So I thank you for watching. You know, I have a lot of information to deliver to you, but I thank you for being here. So much love. Thank you to you. Happy New Year to you. Okay? I mean that. I mean that. Okay? Now, the thing we have here that gets me is the first thing I look at is, is the, the age of the patient. Okay, great. What is Strider? So here's my bonus tip. So if somebody has Strider, what could it be? Well, it could be croup. 
Okay, that was on there. Could be epiglottitis, right? But it could be anaphylaxis. It was also on there. Okay. Well, what else could it be? A foreign body airway. Foreign body airway obstruction, right? What else could it be? Inhalation burns, right? Okay. So, again, what do I always say? There's never a perfect question. If there was a perfect question, then questions would be too you know, the questions would be too easy, right? And again, I don't make the questions. I'm just telling you how to master them and understand how to be a better provider, right? So croup, epiglottitis, anaphylaxis, foreign body airway, inhalation burns. Okay. Well, look at the question here. Here's the key. Drooling and I can't swallow. I saw some of you that went in early. I saw you. I see everything. <laughs> All right. Um, that was that was the key there. That was the key there. Okay. So see, croup, you're not gonna have drooling. It's croup. Epiglottitis, you can't. It's like think about the way my epiglottitis is you can't move, can't swallow, and you can't swallow, you're drooling because you can't swallow because it hurts so much. Too. Okay. So that's why it wasn't croup. Now, all these things though. If you see a patient and you like, let's say you walk in. So here I am. I walk in the room. I hear Strider, six-year-old male. My brain's not going, oh, that's epiglottitis. No, it's going, hey, what are the five things that cause Strider? Okay, foreign body airway. Okay, gotcha. Okay, burns and inhalation. Okay, okay, got, okay, gotcha. Croup, epiglottitis. Okay, okay, cool, cool. See, we start working them up. We're going to go along. See? So that's what you want to look at, right? Obviously, the final one being anaphylaxis, right? So as we move along and we look and we go, and we can determine. Now, croup would be the opposite of these. We already talked about that. Epiglottitis is this. Anaphylaxis is I got hives. I got nausea, vomiting. I got wheezing. But can also have strider. Everyone, everyone forgets that. So I don't want you to trip you up on a question. Okay? There might not always be wheezing. But you might have strider anaphylaxis. Don't forget that. Okay. Now, foreign body airway. The foreign body airway obstruction could be partial. Now, this is basic information, but I just want to just you might not know. I'm just gonna tell you. If a patient if a patient can actually cough, they're only partially choking. If they cannot cough, they're fully choking. Okay. I'm just sharing it with you. Okay. So is that something is, it, is that something to look at? Sure is. Okay. But again, we're going based on what's the best thing that we can look at for this patient, okay? But look, it wasn't on there as the, as the answer. You see? Inhalation. Well, I didn't mention there was a fire or any smoke. So again, this is a perfect example of what I – hey, practically preach, right? This is a perfect example of if you understand the content behind the question – the question comes easy to you. And that's how I get my students to pass school and national registry exams on easy mode. We call it easy mode because if you understand the content, the questions come easy naturally. And that's what I teach here at prepareforems.com. The link is above, below, around, just right here, prepareforems.com. If you've got a, you know, a certain browser, type in all this crazy stuff. It's there, but it's everywhere. The link is on every single YouTube video. If you go to my Facebook, the link is there somewhere. Believe me, you'll find it. If you want to learn more, 180 videos of content. Plus, you get access to me as well, not just videos. You get access to me as your coach in our private group. And there's already thousands of EMS providers that are already taking action on this. And they already passed school. And they already passed registry. And they already got jobs right now. On, and, the, and I'll tell you one more thing. The reason I created this is a tool that will help you throughout your entire career. Because, my friends, I've gone through it, my friends. You know, when I uh, was studying for, let's say, uh, exams or tests, this, this wasn't around. And I didn't, I didn't learn from books. So I wanted to deliver this to you, you see? Okay, good. We got it. All right, now we're going to move on here. We're gonna move on to our next winner. Here we go. Okay. Well, guys, I'm having fun tonight. I hope you are. <laughs> okay. 
It was some fun. You know, a lot of people that do lives, they try to be perfect. I don't try to be perfect. You know, I I come on here. I have my three scenarios. I have my winners. There's nothing here. There's no crew. I got my two lights, my whiteboard, my setup here, and here I am. Right? And that's how we do it. Okay? There's no script. There's nothing to read. I'm here with you. Okay? And that's how you do it. Um, if I wasn't doing it that way, I wouldn't. I wouldn't. I wouldn't do. You know, I wouldn't have. Uh, I wouldn't follow that person. You know, if you can't do something off the cuff, keep that in mind. Okay. Now, what we're going to talk about in the final piece here is going to be our our first place winner is going to be the Littman Cardiology <laughs> Four Scope. So the winner of this right here is getting $500 from my company, the paramedic coach to you. And again, this is not the first time I've done this. I've done this at least three times, maybe four times. I've done at least five or six giveaways. I, I believe this year, you know, someone could fact check me by it. I've done a lot of them since spring. The reason I offer these grants is because I get asked all the time, where can I go for money for EMT school? Where can I go for money for a paramedic school? Maybe you know somebody out there. I mean, that's great, but you know, the majority of people have no idea and don't know where to go. So this is why I do these to give people a chance because you know what you need, you know, school isn't, you know, you need money to go, right? You know, everything costs money. So I want to help people out with this grant. Okay. So for me to you, it's gonna be a scope and right here. Okay. Now I'm gonna first announce our final. A study guide winner. And by the way, uh, let me know in the comments down below. I may have missed it because so many comments. Where I've got 260 people on the live here. Um, let me know our third place winner. If you're just tuning in, third place was John Saxman. John, you on the live, man? John, you on the live? John Saxman, third place. You on the live, Natasha? Natasha Senega? You on the live? I'll come back and look later. You on the live? Second place, Natasha. You on the live? Now, Cindy Miller, Kyler Pittman, you have won the New Year's study bundle that I'm going to send to you. And the final winner of the New Year's study bundle, okay, that was our secret prize, is Nick Arnold. Nick Arnold. Nick Arnold. Where are you at, Nick Arnold? You are the winner of the study guide bundle. So now I'm going to announce my friends without any further ado, the winner of this $500 grant and this Littman Cardiology, where's the light? There it is. Cardiology for scope. And the winner is, everybody ready? Do me a favor real quick. If you're watching right now, you gotta like this video. You gotta subscribe, notification bell on. If you're on Facebook, you're on YouTube, here, pinky promise with me. My promise to you in 2021 is to deliver to you the best EMS content on the face of the planet to make you better. Share me. Share my YouTube with your classmates. Do that for me. I'll work my butt off for you. Fair? Good. Okay. And here we go. The winner is <laughs> Tiffany Collins. Tiffany Collins, you are the winner, my friend. Tiffany Collins, Littman Cardiology for $500 grants. Tiffany Collins, I, I will be reaching out to you shortly. Tiffany Collins, if you're a winner, I'm going to do the, the list here of all the winners. Tiffany Collins, you are the winner. Here's the final listing here. I'm going to write them down. We had the first place winner is Tiffany Collins. If you are live right now, Tiffany, let us know that you're live right now. Tiffany Collins, second place prize. Second place prize was Natasha, 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 Natasha. I um, hope I'm saying Seneca. Hope I got it right. Third place, third place, John, John Saxman. Okay. All right. Now, our three bonus winners boom, boom, boom. Cindy Miller, Cindy Miller. Where are you at, Cindy? We got Kyler. Kyler 
Pittman. I'm putting him on the board so you can see him. And our final one here is Nick Arnold. There we are. <laughs> My friends, I hope you enjoyed this live cast. It was an awesome, 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 awesome event. I got one more thing to show you, so stay tuned real quick. Some of you may be going and totally cool with me, but here's what we got going on. If you're watching this live right now, I know that you are serious, really serious about this EMS education, and you're really serious about you know, becoming an EMT, an advanced EMT, or a paramedic. And you know, people ask me all the time, you know, how do I do this? How do I do that? You know, how can I, like, what can I do to make this whole process easier? And like, I've done all the heavy lifting for you. So if you want to get ahead, if you want to have a, a secret weapon that you can use to your advantage, to if you're getting ready for school, if you're in school right now, or you're getting ready for national registry exams, Take me up on it. Go to prepareforems.com. I'll put the link right here right now. And just go to the video course. And like I said, if you watch that video course, you'll be like my student, Philip, who was in the live earlier. Philip went to the course. I can see. I can see in the course who's watched what. And Philip's watched the entire course. And the amount of information he's gained, outstanding. And it's not just Philip. There are thousands of students inside the program, and I have the most results on National Registry than anybody out here. You can not just me, you can look and you can look and see it. Go to my Instagram page. Look at look at all the students. You can see. You'll see, you can meet, you'll meet, you'll meet my students right here. You can go see my top students right here. You can go check them out. This is my life's work. If you want to go get ahead, see with social media today, everybody. You get so many different things. And I know on New Year's Day, if you were alive here and you were part of that 200 plus people, I know you're serious. I know you're serious about this. I know you're not messing around. So give yourself a gift and get this video course. The $49 that you spend on it, it's going to change your life. And the reason I know that is because I designed this course for the students that I saw struggling and it's helped them. I, you know, I've had people that have, Literally, on their file, like I had a, a student, sh shout out to uh, Gene, Gene Barry, um, student of mine. He was on his final attempt of national registry, grabbed the course, and passed. And so this Gene, again, it's thousands of people who have done it, so go here. Now, two more announcements for you. I've already kind of talked about, but if you're just tuning in, I want to tell you about it now. Now, this, the, the first announcement is YouTube. So I'm coming out with... And I believe uh, almost like a movie. It's going to be a master class. Um, the best video I've ever created on YouTube is coming out in 48 hours. It's on patient assessment, medical and trauma. You know, you got, you got to be there. This video is not a, oh, maybe I'll watch it. This video is a must watch. And it's not EMT level only. I'm going to show you every single thing I know about BLS and ALS, patient assessment from head to toe. I'm going to be giving you bonus tips. And you will see the quality of this video. There's nothing else like it on the face of this earth for EMS, as you're going to see. So get ready for the Ryan. 2021 is going to be crazy. Now, look, middle of this month, okay? I don't have a date for it yet. Hang with me. If you're a real one, hang with me here. Probably the middle of this month, somewhere between, probably, I'm saying it publicly on live, but I'll go ahead and say it, probably between January 10th and January 20th, somewhere around there. Stay tuned to my social media. I'm going to be releasing something that's going to change the game when it comes to national registry, and no one's talking about it, and no one's doing it, but everyone's asking about it because they struggle with it. Okay, it's going to be very, very cost effective, but very valuable. And my goal is to deliver this product 
this service to everybody around the world. So my goal is to decrease failure rates. I want to make an impact because you know what I believe? I believe that anybody out there, whether you're an EMT, advanced EMT, or paramedic school, if you chose this path of EMS and you want to become a great provider, you want to serve your community, that nothing should stop you. This is why I do the giveaways. This is why I come on live on New Year's Day. This is why I pray the videos. This is why I have the course. This is why I create a 180 video video course. I have my community group where you can get to know me and talk to me in there and ask me questions. And we have thousands of students in there. It's a noble journey, and I want to support you through it. So if you give me the opportunity, go to prepareforems.com. I would love to help you out. And you can follow in the steps of my top students who are now watching the live, sitting back. And you know who you are. You've been there for probably a few months now, whatever you've been doing. And you're saying, you know what? This guy really is a real deal. This guy helped me. You can see more results here. And you're working. And you're out there. And you're doing what you want to do. And you're it, – it, it, the, the, the lives and the people that I've seen, I've talked to, you, know, you all motivate me to do what I do. And I want to thank every single person tonight um, who came on this live. And I want you to know, get the word out because we're just getting started. I'll see you next time, guys. Take care.